Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And good morning from the boys. We are up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And as you can see, we are on our way for a walk. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. It is really rather grimmo weather today, but that is not dampening our spirits. I'm taking the dogs for a gorgeous walk this morning. We're going to go down our royal path. As you can see, just there, we have a big field here at the back and it can get quite long. So when you have one inch sausage dog legs, like Odie, the beautiful, majestic person that he is, he really struggles. <laughs> to walk through the long grass. So John is super kind and he mows what we call the Royal Path for His Highness Lord Odie von Lothenthal, Cosgrove Smith's me. Huh? They've got all of their bras on, aka harnesses. Wiggy is not looking very happy about walking in the rain. And we're gonna go for a gorgeous walk we are off to Cornbury House today to have a luncheon to celebrate the horse trials and a beautiful lunch. There's going to be lots of beautiful, familiar faces, so I cannot wait. Anyway, let's take these munchkins for a quick walk before we have to get ready and go. Oats, let's go! Come on then, little manny. <laughs> I've got the two munchkins on leads and then the older two are so good, they don't need leads. And to be honest with you, we don't ever meet a road. So uh, not really ever many people, but just better to be safe than sorry, because it would be a bit of a Fenton experience. There we go. Look at that. This is one of my favorite times of day. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, some Pidgeys. Come on then. Oh my goodness, they look so happy and so am I. So nice to be able to bring you guys on the walk. <laughs> Wiggy has his little army harness on. Such a sweetie pie. And then Lancelot has his harness and he actually has a bow tie. He's a bit of a smart house, mummy. A smart house. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I was actually talking about in my last vlog about how I've completely rethought a dog walk. I always used to panic thinking, I don't have time, I don't have time, trying to schedule it in. And do you know what? They are my priority. Oh, so sorry, seeing Lancelot having a tinkle. Come on, Raph. Look, he is my priority. How could you say no to that little face? And so what I do is I actually schedule my calls whilst I'm on a dog walk, or I schedule filming, or replying to comments, or emails, or scheduling the reels for the week. And it's just part of my everyday, and they love it. And we just discover the British countryside, and it is pure heaven. Anyway. Look at this view. It's so beautiful. The most amazing birds are calling. I also have to make a little bit of incredible. I have to make a little path for the dogs so that they can walk over these holly leaves and the boys don't like to go over it. <laughs> So they walk down the little path that I create for them. Honestly, spoilt much. Ah, oh, there we go, Odie. The little path has been done for you. Come on then, little Manny. Come on then. Have you ever seen a del more delicious sight? Oh, those birds are incredible. Anybody who are bird watchers or any bird experts out there, I'd love to know what that is. Come on then, little Mannies. This is one of my favorite parts of the walk. There's a tiny little pathway within the crop. And look at that, it's not just so beautiful. It is starting to rain, but it's so fresh and gorgeous. <gasps> Come on, Oats! Odie's having the best time this morning. Hi, little Manny. Hi, 
can you? Come on, Raph. Ravi's getting a little bit older now, but he loves the short walk. So this is what we call our short circuit. And then we've got so many different walks and really that is the cross path. You can go up and over the hill, down the hill, over there and across the valley. It is so beautiful. Right boys, come on then. Let's go mummy's little peeny. Mummy's little peeny brush. <laughs> you guys are hearing all of my nicknames this morning. The blonde bombshell always leads the way. Oh, pardon Odie, going for a little tinkle. Oh, Odie is head mountain goating this morning, followed closely by the blonde bombshell. Come on, boys. Hello, my angels. <laughs> Hair is in the rollers and I am in the car. I'm all ready and we are off to Cornbury House for a summer luncheon. Bear with me just a second, I'm just driving out the gates and then I'm going to come to a halt. Um, as I said, it is a summer luncheon today, however, it is absolutely peeing it down. It is such grimo, grimo weather and it's such a shame because the horse trials are absolutely incredible. We are going to be walking the course with Laura Collett who is an Olympic gold medalist. She won a gold medal in Tokyo. She is absolutely incredible but it is really bucketing cats and dogs out there. So they have asked us to come in summer dress attire so I'm wearing a beautiful full white classic fresh linen dress and then I have like a tweedy blazer that's going to go over the top and then I've got three different choices of shoes for all different weather types I've got shoes for inside I've got summer wedges if everybody else is super summery and then I've got my trusty old Fairfax and Favor Regina boots that Marcus has polished to perfection they look like a completely different pair of boots um, and it actually sort of ties in sorry I've got like this piece of hair there we go that is annoying me um, and it ties the whole outfit together I was also going to wear my saddlebag today but I thought it was a little bit too cheap Easy, a little bit too horsey um, but it's going to be the most gorgeous day I believe Josie's going I know that Scarlett Martin is going she's one of my Instagram friends yet we haven't actually met in real life I feel like I know her so well and I classify her as a friend um, but it's so strange this world so it will be so lovely to actually meet her in person we've got about an hour's drive and I have a feeling it's going to be a beautiful one we're heading Cotswold's direction we're going to Chip and Autumn, which is about 50 15 minutes away from me, so let's get going. Just to give you <laughs> a glimpse of what our summer luncheon weather is like, it is absolutely awful. It is so grim today, it's about 15 degrees and bucketing it down. Oh my goodness, I hope that I've prepared myself. I've got umbrellas, I've got hats. I've got a blazer. I didn't bring a coat. I should have brought an anorak or a mac. Mm. I must say, if it really is coming down hard, I'm not sure whether I'm up for walking the course in this. Um, I might just uh, <laughs> stay behind and have a cup of tea. Oh gosh, I'm praying, keep your fingers crossed and hope that this rain stops by the time we get to Chip Norton. navigation is correct we are just about to arrive oh my goodness me what an entrance this is gosh look at this beautiful gates pair of gatehouses and we are going to be driving through their beautiful parkland and there are some incredible deer in here I believe and this is them just setting up for the horse trials which is at the beginning of September gosh it's beautiful could you imagine this on a stunning summer's day oh it was not meant to be 
Here we go, just driving up to the house. Look at how beautiful that is. I see some hydrangeas. Well, after a very, very wet drive, I have arrived at Cornbury House. It is absolutely stunning. It is very wet outside, and I'm gonna have to go with the Fairfax and Favour Regina boots because I am not wearing a pair of wedges, and nor am I wearing a pair of flats in <laughs> this weather. I have a feeling today is going to be absolutely gorgeous, so let's go. This wonderful gentleman has just met me with a very, very handy umbrella. And look at this. Oh my goodness, look at these edible hydrangeas on the absolutely heavenly and the box borders. Beautifully striped lawn. Oh, let's go inside. Very grateful for my boots and umbrella. <laughs> We have just got in the car, and this is Denise. Hi, hi. And this is David. We are with David himself Hello. today, and he's going to be giving us the grand tour. And then we have Alex in the front Hello. there, looking very glam. I feel like you lucked out there, David. I mean, when was the last time you were in a car with all these gorgeous <laughs> ladies? <laughs> well, is it the jackpot? Jack I do. Pot. I've definitely lucked out. And what we haven't lucked out with is the weather. Then we're about weather. to go and do a lovely tour a lovely of Cornbury. Uh, we were hoping we're going to sit on the top and have a, a glass of champagne in the sunshine, nice. but we're sunshine, not going to be, we're going to be in the rain. But well, we're very lucky. I've definitely like it's sunny inside if it's not sunny, sunny outside. inside. We're bringing the positive yes, energy. We so positive. I love that. Well, we're in a beautiful yeah. car. I'm going to put my seatbelt on and then we are going to go and have a look at these magnificent grounds. The gardener who lived there in those wall gardens, he would basically feed all the estate. You can imagine the number of people that worked on the state, you know, yeah, yeah, there's that, so they're incredible beautiful wall gardens. And how old would that wall be, David? That was probably, um, I would think, built in Georgian times. Absolutely so, yeah, incredible. Sure. Getting on for 300 years old, 250 oh, years old. Um, David at that time wasn't a course designer, he was a yeah. course builder, yes. and he built some of the jungles. And so then David, you know, when I asked him whatever it was, 25 years later, he's of course he wanted said, to come back. I'd and love to. I'd love to. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So he's come back and built the course. So you've got the natural terrain here, the undulation for the course. Yeah. It's here. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and that's and that's what you want, as you know, as a rider. Yeah. You want yeah, to be yeah. able to test them, and so you want 100%. to. 100%. Yeah. Whereas the parkland is pretty, but it's a bit flat. flat. So the idea we've done is say, right, we'll put the cross country and indeed the show jumping yeah. up there, and then we'll come down for the dressage in front of the main yeah. house. You can see, you know, that, that there, the sort of, you know. Oh, the view um, up to the so house. So you get this sort of, uh, Magnific the magnificence of the main house, yeah. Some people are having the dressage photos. You've got the lovely house in the yeah, background. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Gorgeous. yes. Yeah, where well, they're all dressed in their finery. Yeah. Content yeah. creator yeah. as well as eventer yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. wants yeah. to get the shot. Every, yeah. every, every eventer wants those Yeah, yeah, they shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the cracking photos so here are we're nice dropping down. So this is where, so as I said, the riders have to come from the show jumping arena on the yeah. cross country to the dressage. And what oh. we do, they come across this bridge here. Yeah. So we put this on, it's all beautifully set up with railings and everything else. And you imagine, oh, you know, you're in your wonderful yeah. smart dressage and then you're coming, look you know, at those water lilies. Here. That's pretty. Oh, the water very, lilies. Very professional. Look yeah. at the and beautiful. And the water lilies, absolutely like, yeah. beautiful. Like international yeah. oh, goodness. Feel to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is. These are yeah. massive. Are they, the, are they the ones that yeah. everyone dreads? They're the ones. The yeah. riders, yeah. They're the riders are like, oh God, this could go our one way or the other. Our photographer is here. Yeah. And there's a few riders' yeah. expressions there. Oh, oh my God. Because <laughs> these you are high will eyes, imagine. never catch me doing you know? that. <laughs> uh, that's a proper. Yeah, and that's the three not. star no one. Chance. No and chance. The <laughs> don't want the ground to be hard. You know? And what goes into it's... the maintenance of that? Obviously, we have got the wonderful British weather with the rain. Yeah. How do you maintain the cross country course? So, basically, it's, it's a year round job. So, you can see we've already cut the course already, yeah. getting ready. Um, and, you know, you, you, at the beginning of the year, you'll be seeding. So, you'll be putting, you know, where, where it's been worn out, getting the grass, getting the grass uh, back. Then putting the seed yeah. in early on. Then, um, or, as it goes through, you'll keep on cutting it to keep the grass the right length. So you're getting the moisture into the ground when it rains, yeah. not too long grass. Then you know, we'll be aerating it as well to keep, keep you know, yeah, again, yeah. doesn't compact so too much. So it is a passion, a passion and, project. And we get nearer the time, depending on the British summer, and this year we probably don't need to, let's see. We're very fortunate here, we've got the lakes. Yes. So actually you'll see when we get to the top here, we have put 
permanent pumps in from the legs and we're pumping water pumping up water. to here oh, and we take water and we water it. And that's why you'll find all the riders love coming to Cornwall because they know, come what may, the course is the, course, the, the, the land terrain. is always going to be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look at this setup. An incredible car. Beautiful champagne here. Delicious Paul Roger. Looks like our champagne bucket from home. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. You caught me. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. <laughs> Hear me over the uh, pouring rain. Um, first of all, a huge welcome to Cornbury. It's fantastic to have you all here. We really appreciate you coming. Um, but you know, you know the expression, there's no such thing as a free lunch, you know? <laughs> Don't just think you're here to enjoy the sunshine <laughs> and, and the green. No, what you're here to do is to understand a bit about Cornbury House Horse Trials and what our sort of passion is about and what we believe that why it's such an exciting event to be able to come for. And uh, I hope you'll leave today with an idea of that and be able to convey a bit of that as well. So, I, you know, I just want to tell you a little bit about where we are, what we're doing. We were going to do a bit more up here, but actually, given it's so wet, we'll do the rest down, down the house. But, you know, you are... First of all, can you imagine how mad we were? We set this up in the first year of COVID. Everyone else was closing the event. Said, oh, look, why don't we start the horse event? A great idea. Everyone else was closing. We started one. Secondly, David Evans, who's the Olympic horse builder, said he wanted to build an unusual water jump. So what do you do? He built on the highest hill in Cornbury. Normally, water jumps are low down, well, it's easy to get water to. This one is built right up here, but what amazing spectacle is you come up here, the Lord can tell you about this, and Jemima and Lydia are arriving, coming up, you know, and what a place to have these water jumps, right up high where you've got the house down below. The whole idea was to try and get, you know, a country course, cross country course, where people could actually watch it. Some of the courses you go to, you may not know, you see one or two jumps and that's it, the riders are gone. Mm. Then you've got this amazing spectacle where you can see probably two thirds of the jumps going on. The riders come down here, go down here, and then down that way through. So, really amazing spectacle. Oh, look at this for service. This is very handsome, gentlemen. Oh, I'm coming. Thank you very, very much. Gosh, wonderfully British weather. <laughs> that one there, all around the other side. Oh no, I think she may have gone over the other side. Oh no, we're going this way, back this way, back this way. The dedication to trying to save the hair, I think by this point, I think it's, here she comes. Here we go, oh, thank you very much. How are we doing, ladies? A bit wet, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting frizzy and it's all gone. I know. I don't know why I bothered with the rollers at this rate. Oh, no. Can You're we just looking fine? I'm a bit of a damp squid. <laughs> 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 but I have had a lovely glass of Paul Roger. Ladies, how delicious. I mean, really I'm not really going to lie, lovely. I had two. Really, really, really. Good girl. I know. They just said another one. I said, okay, absolutely. absolutely. And that. I'm trying to save myself because I know we've got lunch. I know. And I, I know. need to like, pace drag, it, pace, pace it, it, pace yeah. it. But what a gorgeous day. And I mean that honestly. I know it is absolutely <laughs> raining cats and dogs out there, but there's just the most incredible ladies here. They're so inspirational. And uh, just listening to this incredible place, it's not not just a horse trials. It, there's so much more here. They talk about farm to food, farm to plate. They talk about enjoying the whole day for a family. Especially when you're in horses, it does tend to revolve around the one person riding. And I do think, and I think about my own siblings who were dragged along to competitions yeah. and husbands, there wasn't that much to do. Husbands, yes. They're all dragged. <laughs> yeah, they were all dragged. And actually <laughs> here, here, it's a whole family day out, and you can even go to the Moe Chandon tent if you just want to, you know, <laughs> sip on champagne all day and be carried home. And not see a horse all day. Not see a horse all day. <laughs> Gosh, incredible house, amazing. I wish I could show them inside the I house. I know, I'm desperate. Unfortunately, yeah, we're not allowed to film inside the house, but it is like the creme de la creme of British interior design. I mean, yeah. stunning. <gasps> Mummy would go nuts. It's very very much on mummy's paw. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna lunch we're gonna time. drive back and have lunch time.
best event riders in the country. She does herself down in terms of she won't sing from the rooftops herself, so I will do that for her. She won a team gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. <laughs> five-star events in the world and that's at the very 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 highest level that eventing has she's basically the best we have around and she rides here at Cornbury and I suppose that's where I want to start with you Laura because like I say you always play yourself down I know that with you but you are one of the best sports people Great Britain has to offer and the nice thing about Cornbury horse trials is you will come and you will see the very best you'll see the very best at the top of their sport and I think if you're into sport it's a real privilege to see that but you come here, well why? Tell us why. What, what brings you and your owners and your horses here to Cornbury? Because there's plenty of options for you. Yeah, I think, um, look, this place is, A, it's an amazing venue. Um, B, they do a fantastic job. The courses are fantastic. Um, it's exactly what we, we as riders are missing um, more in our sport. Um, it's um, educational for the young horses. Um, I personally am super excited that we've got the Young Horse Championship here. Um, because it, it, it's got a real buzz and a real vibe um, and you don't get that many places and quite often with our horses they don't experience that kind of atmosphere and that you know real electric atmosphere that you can get in that show jumping arena and the dressage arena and um, you don't get until it you know, get to a point where it really really matters so educating the horses from a very young age with that um, is, is really important for us as riders um, bringing these young horses through, the horses that we think could be future stars. Um, it gives us um, a feel as to how they're going to react and, and we know what we need to go and work on. Um, but but for, for owners as well, it's a, a fantastic day out. Um, the hospitality that David puts on is, is brilliant and it's not, um, and we don't get it at every event. So. When she says we don't get it at every event, <laughs> Laura spends a lot of her time at various events up and down the country where the best hospitality you'll get is the burger van. <laughs> <laughs> you're literally lucky, they'll be like, you're in love, we've got a piece of cheese to put on top. <laughs> <laughs> yes. in. So yeah. coming here is pretty special, I know that from an ownership point of view. Yeah, definitely. Um, Look at this table. beautiful table, all of the horse placemats are absolutely incredible the sweet peas up the table the pheasants all the silverware on the table look at that candelabra absolutely stunning I've seen so many pieces today that are so similar to ours at home and it is absolutely stunning unfortunately I'm unable to show much more of the room because of the artwork and the antiques but this is absolutely the creme to the creme of quintessentially English interior design. Oh my goodness, this is the Paella of Dreams. <gasps> Lobsters and magustines, mussels, prawns. <gasps> you guys know I'm a foodie. What I love is that all of this food, I know I probably shouldn't say this, and most of the people on my YouTube channel and on your YouTube <laughs> channel and yours is going to be really rather upset that this actually came from the field outside, but it's going to taste absolutely incredible. <laughs> Farm to plate and that paella. Well, I'm sorry, ladies. There's not enough for you because I'm just gonna just gonna dig in with the spoon right there and then. So we have just arrived inside, and I'm with my absolute darling Scarlett. Hi, everybody. You guys probably already follow her. If you don't, you need to. I'm going to leave all the details in the description box below. Very horsey, very glamorous. And very Barbie. Very, very Barbie. She's like country Barbie. Very damn. I'm looking like you and me both, darling. I've had curlers in my hair for hours. <laughs> oh my goodness, but we've literally just walked into lunch. The lunch table is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, it takes the sort of top luxury aristocratic interior design to a whole nother level. Like I said, unfortunately, I can't show you too much because of the artwork and the valuables inside the house, but I feel so lucky to be so privileged. Like, so privileged to see it. And actually, another thing, Scarlett doesn't just look like an absolute supermodel, she's also extremely horsey. I am extremely horsey. Extremely horsey. Horsey. Not eventing though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna have enough of that at all. You're showing and, and dressage. And, and dressage. Yeah. Amazing. I do, the, I do all the circles. <laughs> lot of circles. I don't leave lot the of ground. circles. No, thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm happy one. We've been friends for so long. I know. Just on, on Instagram. Instagram. The first time and today met. is the first day we've ever met in person. It's it is just <laughs> so gorgeous. <laughs> so British. <laughs> we've got strawberries and cream, oh, delicious oh, meringue, oh, and then some heavenly cheeses. Scrum delicious. Just driving out of the gates after the most incredible day and look at those deer. Oh my goodness me. 
absolutely beautiful. Oh, the phone is never ending. <laughs> Resembling somewhat of a drowned rat, I've literally just got home, just driving through the gates. What an amazing day we've had. Cornbury House is absolutely breathtaking. The interiors, the artwork, the architecture of the cornicing, chandeliers, the list goes on. It is truly magnificent. The cross country course, absolutely amazing. Top class British eventing course. Um, if you are an eventer, then I would highly, highly recommend looking into it because as you heard David saying, there's just so many different ways of being able to go to Cornbury, whether you go as a family day out, whether you buy a ticket, whether you actually ride there. It is truly such an amazing day and just such a gorgeous group of ladies again. Um, Josie was there, so it was just divine to catch up with her and Charlie. They've just got back from Sicily, which sounded absolutely divine. Uh, finally met Scarlett, um, and I introduced her to you guys. She is so, so beautiful. She is as beautiful as she is on Instagram in real life, and she's just the most gorgeous girl inside and out. Um, met so many new people. David and Fiona are an absolute hoot. They are hysterically funny, incredible sports, just the most amazing hosts, and it's been a glorious day bar the weather. The weather, it is so horrific and wet. I mean, you saw the curls earlier on. I mean, <laughs> it's as dead as a dodo. Anyway, as I said, I've literally just got home. It has been a long day. I've got so many emails. It is Friday. I've got to be honest, I actually haven't had the best week. <laughs> um, could have been a better week. Uh, we are hosting my parents this evening, which is going to be lovely. They've just flown in from Mallorca for the weekend. We've got a family wedding tomorrow, and then we are spending the day all together on Sunday. I hope the weather bucks up a little bit because we are spending the day on the river and then going to the French Horn uh, for lunch with some um, old family friends of ours. So that will be gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to go inside. Have a few sausage snogs with the boys, see my parents, and start cooking a roast chicken. <laughs> because that was the order from my parents this evening. They said they've had so much Spanish food and so many sort of different cuisines in Mallorca. They want to come home and have a traditional English roast chick chick. So that's what I'll be doing this evening. I hope you're all well. Happy Saturday. Well, I am all dressed and ready to rock and roll. We are going to a family wedding today. It is actually in Nottingham, so it is quite far away. So we are literally just about to have a very, very quick bite to eat because I believe we're not eating until like seven o'clock this evening. Um, and it is my godmother's daughter's wedding today. So essentially my god sister if that is such a thing. It is going to be the most gorgeous family affair. It's very, very chilled. She wanted it in the garden. She wanted it whimsical. I have a feeling there's going to be a fair few horses involved. <laughs> so I was told not to be too OTT and no hats. Hmm. So the hair is at the rollers and I am wearing my beautiful Zimmerman dress that you saw me wear for Henley Raw Regatta, and then I'm wearing my Salvatore Ferragamo bag. I have actually just um, pulled the chain out halfway because I think that that looks really pretty and elegant. It's such a stunning color. It's this sort of like purpley, pinky, berry color, and I just think it pulls the purple tones out of the dress. A few weeks ago, we pulled the fuchsia out, and today we're pulling the purple tones out, and it really does just make those purple tones pop. I am feeling really rather <laughs> tired, but I'm going to have a few espressos, and it's going to be the most incredible day. The weather. I could literally cry for Lucinda. I don't even know how to describe the weather at the moment. It is absolutely peeing it down. And then it's beautiful sunshine. So hopefully, 
hopefully please pray for us that the weather will be beautiful for all of those really really special moments all of the photographs when she walks down the aisle it's going to be such a gorgeous family emotional day filled with so much love so let's go to nottingham here we are just arrived at the reception this is something to tell you that lucinda is a vet an equine vet and she is horse absolutely crazy so she is actually having her wedding at her stable yard <laughs> and I have seen the horses getting primped and I do believe she's probably going to be making an entrance absolutely beautiful wedding I've cried the entire way through it's a silly sausage but just so beautiful she had her do dogs walk her down the aisle and it's just been the most beautiful day and I cannot wait to keep celebrating these two watched the entire service they are so sweet what are their names this is Crumb. Crumb! You were a superstar! And and this you... is Hulk. Oh my goodness, Hulk! <laughs> he was literally watched him, he was actually watching the whole service. Mummy, I really would like to go home now. Percy, come say hi. Hi, delicious little person. Aren't you just so divine? <laughs> so, so sweet. So they're actually four years old. They're being so well behaved. Just so good. Good morning, everybody. I have got a very, very special guest today. I think my mother is quite possibly my most requested guest on my YouTube channel. So you're very lucky. She has agreed <laughs> to come on my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Welcome, mommy. Welcome mm -hmm. to the channel. I need all the help I can get today. That's all I can say. Yes. We got back from uh, our, my goddaughter's wedding at midnight last night and we're out for lunch today and I feel shocking. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that uh, I can work the my Leonora magic. The glow is going to work, but yes. I doubt it somehow. But we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. I was saying to mommy that I have so many incredible subscribers who are sort of over the age, like 50 plus who always ask me about you and they always ask how does your mum do her makeup what products does she use how to do her makeup and I as you guys know love doing makeup and I also love doing my mum's makeup and it's a really lovely sort of bonding thing that we've always kind of done together isn't it mm. but this morning we are in the dressing room and we are going out for lunch today and so I thought that I would do I mean it's half past 12 and our guests are arriving in at one half an hour so it's going to be a very a very quick glow up and we're going to talk through a few products that i use products that my mother uses having a little bit more of a uh, older skin i hope you don't mind me saying no. that more mature skin i would say and sort of tips and tricks from a youngster mm. and uh, I have no makeup on at the moment. Zero makeup. I've put my base on and I'm sorry you're sort of getting like half my face and probably half my <laughs> breast at the same time. So I apologise. So you've put your moisturiser on. Yes. What moisturiser do you use? Um, I'm using at the moment because I go to the Marlowe Club for facials, Janssen facials and I really like it because it's they're, they're very really rich. really good. Yeah. Yes and because I'm in the sun so much at the moment yeah, and uh, down in really Mallorca, I really have to. That's uh, one thing my mum has always, always taught me, and I know I bang on about it so much, SPF. Yes, so I use an SPF a 50 every day on my yeah. face, and then and I put my, uh, my day cream. Obviously, when I was your age, I wasn't quite so good at doing it. No. And so there's a little bit of sun damage going on. Yeah. But um, One thing I would say, actually, as a family, and certainly like the female line and generations through my family, we've been so lucky with our skin. Like, you have 
incredible skin for a woman of your age. And my grandmother oh, was you. the same. Like grandma. Yes, well, grandma had the most extraordinary skin. She was like skin. porcelain. And uh, she really never went in the sun with her face, though. Um, she tanned herself when she was younger, though, like yeah. I did. Yeah. But as she got older, she always wore a hat. And she just had good thick skin yeah. I would say. Is and she it. aged so gracefully didn't she? She did. She and that's actually something we have on the dressing table. A little picture of my grandmother. She yeah. always wore, I'm gonna see whether you can see that, she really was like Marilyn Monroe. She always wore really quite bright eyeshadow. Her signature was a bright blue eyeshadow. It sounds ghastly all but green. actually green. all green, yeah. green and then a bright lip. And I think it's safe to say that she was a very, very glamorous lady and certainly taught us some tips and tricks when it came to makeup. Mm -hmm. Right, so as right. we're saying, you've got your base on. And we have 15 minutes. And we have 15 minutes, so let's do this. Let's go. A product that I am obsessed with, and you guys know, I've spoken about it a lot, and I think it's incredible for all ages and skin types, is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now, I think this is probably a touch too light, considering that you are so tanned at the moment. Mm, don't go too light, I wouldn't. No, 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 don't worry. Don't, don't worry, trust me. <laughs> no, and that's another thing. I think the older that you get, the less makeup you need. There's that by Terry one that's quite Yeah, good. you love that. Yeah. You love that. We've got the by Terry um, brightening serum that's really, really nice. So I think my mother's generation, there is nothing worse than looking cakey. So I actually think just a tiny bit of quite a few different products creates the most beautiful glow. You're being lit from within, you are a bronzed goddess as you are, and we're just going to enhance. Well, I have got a bit of a tan at the moment, that's quite nice. To... Yeah, you've got a lovely colour and you just actually just mm. need to enhance your natural, natural beauty. Okay. It's the rosé glow today. <laughs> the rosé glow. Actually, yeah. I'm feeling rather smug. I actually stopped drinking um, mm. quite early on. Saffy, I think. <laughs> well, I don't really Whoa. tend to drink. Mm -hmm. And also, I've had the, a week of feeling mm. so rough. I know. I never learn. Never learn. Never learn. So I'm, you know, trying to continue with my health and wellness routine, especially whilst going That's to... Terribly. That's quite... Don't you worry. Sorry, I should be telling you this. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, and this is in three cool. Again, I literally take a tiny pea amount and just dot it where I think mummy needs it. She's got a few little sunspots, mm -hmm. a little bit of rosacea around her nose, and really a tiny bit on her forehead. Always keep a little tissue. We don't need as much as I put on my finger. And then I actually blend with a Rough. I think as you get older though, it is quite difficult to sort of weigh up. Obviously we all look so much better with a bit of colour on our face and you do still catch some even if with an, an SPF 50. So what is your, what would be your tips and tricks for everybody? What is your skincare routine like? What would you say is so important to age gracefully? Obviously we do get wrinkles, we are going to get well, sunspots. Well, I mean, I just always, just always have moisturised, moisturised and uh, wear an SPF. That is my main you know, tip yeah. that I would say to you as a young girl. I mean, you know, at your age, yeah. sometimes borderline never took my makeup off at night. <laughs> it's <laughs> not much better. Not not much better than I was. But, you know, as you get older, just moisturise. Moisturise, moisturise, moisturise. And you also have some fabulous facials. Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, no. Right. I'm now using my favourite product on birth is the Hollywood Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I, I'm actually quite scared of this. <laughs> right, do the face. Mm-hmm. Are you going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, down the nose. Mm -hmm. I do not want to look stripey. <laughs> no, do not want to look stripey. Sometimes I know I'm guilty of contouring mm. my nose quite a lot. I find it a bit much but but you know when you've got a beautiful young skin it's fine but I don't want to be the laughing stock absolutely not absolutely not and blend and blend again <laughs> see this is so this lovely. is the rule this is the rule you just blend and blend it's such a beautiful product and again mum your skin is just phenomenal always blend into the hairline 
With being blonde, you do sometimes suffer from, especially when you're putting a little bit of bronzer on, you get a few little gingery bits around here. So you mm. can actually take... I have been, um, <laughs> I have been talked out of my lifelong obsession of um, self-tanning my face by my daughter, who says I end up with ginger chops, as she puts it. <laughs> she ends up with, sort of, we're, we are quite a hairy, a hairy sideburn, ginger chops. <laughs> so they sort of go very orange, and it, I just don't think it's a... I don't think it's a classy vibe. Actually. I mean, for a special occasion, I think a self tan um, the night before, and uh, and you, you have an amazing routine with that. Yeah, though. you have. Well, you the, the Declio. De yes, but they don't do it any longer. Please, Declio, bring back your self tanning face cream. It was my absolute favourite of all times, and then of course it gets discontinued. That's beautiful. But that is obviously because I'm so old. I'll oh, stop. Absolutely stop it. Right, so that is the contour one done, and then we're just going to go over it simply with the film star bronze and glow. And you take now the this is a product brush. I do use. This is amazing. Um, but I, I wouldn't normally use that. Um, the liquid, it, no. The liquid. It can it can seem quite scary to use, but it's such a blendable product. I've got some of my girlfriends into this, haven't you? Yeah. But, um, For all of Mummy's girlfriends watching, who are dedicated YouTube subscribers. Yeah, th this this is one of my favourite products that Leonora uses, and I I do use it. I use the the contour and the highlighter, and then I use a bronzer on my face. Uh, basically, just whoosh a, a big bronzing brush over my face most days, and that's really all I do with it. You know. Now, in the heat. In the heat. Now, blusher, especially on a lady of your age, blusher apples. is so important. So, apples of your cheek, a beautiful smile, and then actually I take the blusher up the side, up to the temple area, and it just lifts the face instantly, creating just a gorgeous, almost as though she's blushing. Blushed! She's flushed with beautiful pinky tones. You can bring it a little bit on the nose and a touch on the forehead. Yeah, I always do the forehead. Touch. There we go. That's gorgeous. Of course, it's so incredible, isn't it? Because I used to watch my mother making up, and that's how I learnt to put makeup on. And when you were a little girl, you used to watch me put makeup it's amazing. on. amazing. And you do certain things that I do, like when you put your mascara on, you yeah. open your mouth. <laughs> And, and you blink. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And, it's um, so special. It is so yeah, special. My mother's um, skincare routine was incredible, but in those days it was good old Nivea to take your makeup off, but she used to slather on the Estee Lauder. Right, you... Midnight Secret. Guerlain was her absolute favourite. So she had... Um, Two favourite perfumes in uh, Guerlain, Ch Chalamar, Chalamar and Mitsuku. And, um, I know, and I still smell it now. I, I, have, I have the body shower in, in, my, uh, in my shower and some days, and I use yeah. the tiniest little bit. And honestly, it reminds me of her and it's so special. Right, Mama? Well, she was the last of the Lana Turners, we used to call her. So she was glamorous. Always so glamorous. Never went out without lipstick on. My father would say if she hadn't got lipstick on, just go and pop your lipstick on, Madeleine. <laughs> and, so and some high heels. And some high heels. He'd so never she, be able to was, see. She was a, a real 50s glamour puss. She was a glamour puss. My grandfather always used to say, well, she, my grandmother would come down and say, Robert, what do you think of my outfit? And he'd say, Madeleine, I couldn't possibly tell you without putting your heels on. Mm -hmm. You He's loved amazing. women. Right, are you happy with your brows or do you want them to be slightly more dramatic? No, I'm happy with them, thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Mummy was one of those who overplucked, weren't you? Absolutely, in the 70s. In the 70s. Also, I think it's important to say that my um, mother also went through a very, very uh, difficult health scare and you also lost your Yes, eyelashes. I went through intense uh, chemo. Um, so I went through 10 rounds or 12 ten. rounds, I, I can't think, remember. I think she did I like 12, 12 rounds of chemo. And uh, so I lost all my hair and my eyebrows. So I actually had my eyebrows uh, tattooed. Um, because but they're faded really they're faded. beautifully. And actually, and actually, I probably wouldn't have them done again, but it gives me quite a line. And actually one of the inspirations was... Again, uh, we uh, have her here. Um, this is what I went with. Um, when I went to the tattoo artist and said I want arched eyebrows for once in my life like Marilyn Monroe had. Close. 
and um, um, it gave you a really good base yeah. to be able to follow. Didn't I it? did look a little bit odd without my wig if I was go going around bald with these great big eyebrows on, but I did love them when I put the the blonde bobbed wig on. Actually, it was it was quite it, it was quite disconcerting because um, it's amazing how how a good blonde coiffed hairdo with dramatic eyebrows is all you need with a, with a bit of a lipstick. I couldn't agree more. And um, I was rather addicted to my wigs in the end. We had so much fun with yeah. your wigs. Mummy could be like absolutely anybody in her wigs. Yeah. One day she'd turn up and she'd have this amazing like sharp blonde bob and then another day yeah. she'd have yeah, this like glamorous fabulous. bouncy curls and it yeah. did bring happiness through quite a dark yeah. time didn't yeah. it it was the, uh, the gray stubble wasn't a good no no the gray stubble back. wasn't great but with yeah. alessio and highlights and yeah. yes we got through that stage and now she has beautiful hair it all came back all came back and, and her eyebrows are looking fantastic she's got gorgeous the, the other thing i do take though leonora every day um in my sh sort of shake because now I'm sort of living mainly in Mallorca and I don't tend to eat breakfast but I, I, I have that shake in the morning yeah and I put collagen oh, uh, uh, yes yeah, the synergy you know collagen from but, Maddie but also, is absolutely fantastic yeah, you love the collagen and, and as far as nails and hair and skin there's one for um, joints and one for skin and nails and hair. I will certainly um, link that below yeah, because that's a product that mummy swears I by. I really do. I, n I never thought I would be um, so convinced by collagen supplements, but I am. My hair is so much thicker than it used to be. Right, I'm looking for, this is what I'm looking for, but that is not looking great. What are we looking for? I'm looking for... Okay, so I felt like I've jumped ahead slightly as we got in quite deep into that conversation. Eyes, I use the bronzer from the Hollywood Floor, uh, Hollywood Bronze and Glow Kit, just as the base. And then I used the, what is this called? The Luxury Palette Pillow Talk from Charlotte yeah, Tilbury. Which I use every day. I and I've it. used these two colours on the left-hand side just to sort of create lightness, a halo, and then it just bronze it up with this beautiful, almost like a shimmery golden bronzed colour. And then as mummy's got quite a lot of blue going on, she's going to wear a beautiful, we've got to do like the finished look as well. Mm -hmm. She's going to be wearing a white linen with a blue stripe um, jacket, blazer over the top. And she is partial to a beautiful blue eyeliner. So this is Trish McAvoy, one of mummy's top, top uh, brands that she uses on a daily basis. Well, because in, in the heat, uh, they, it doesn't smudge and, and it's almost like a sort of... Um, a waxy finish. Um, a waxy, and it's such a beautiful yeah. colour. Right. I always. What well, you want to left? Well, when when I, when you're older, you have to sort of lift the eye up a bit. And then I use my nail, and I just and drag it up do that. slightly. I can never do and that. And look at that instantly. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. But hang on a minute. I want to show them up close. So look at the eye close. Stunning. So just go from the center of the eye, take it up slightly, and then use your nail just to drag it up, and it creates such a light line, but it is so effective. So I'm going to take it up there, take my thumbnail, and just pull the color mm -hmm. up towards... It's okay, I don't need to do that, your eyes are beautiful. And basically you want to take it up to where your eyebrow finishes. So essentially here to here, and just stop just before. So that's eyes done. I am gonna let you do your own mascara because I don't want to freak you mm -hmm. out with that. I do just want to use a tiny bit of bronzer over the top of your forehead, underneath your neck, just to blend everything in. And this is a stunning palette. This is the Nude Gasm Face Palette for runway ready bronze sculpt and glow. She's is that Charlotte runway. Tilbury? That's Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, I need to get that. I also just want to quickly... Can you buy Charlotte Tilbury online? Yes, you can. I will. Mummy, you need to start watching my YouTube channel so that you can go onto all the links below mm -hmm. and see where you get these products. Now, lips. We're going to supersize her up. I love this lip liner. For every single age, colour and tone, it is beautiful. Always make sure you sharpen your products. Look at me. You 
welcome, welcome our guest. Whilst I finish off my makeup, I do like to go the line on his lips a little bit. I was blessed with more of my father's lips, I would say. I hope you don't mind me saying that, Mum. You've got quite little lips. And I've got... Mean lips. <laughs> she thinks she has mean lips. <laughs> my brother got the big... Juicy, juicy lips. I got lips. much more I got of the those. mean lips. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Well, with Charlotte Tilbury super size me, we can get your lips all big and juicy. Then... Actually, my mother had enormous lips. I really did, didn't did luck out in that lip department. Well, you lucked out on many others, so... How, how about the, the oils and stuff that you use as well? Oh, you like the rhodial lip mm. oil? That is beautiful. But this is such a lovely colour, and I think this will go with your tones for today. But that is a beautiful product. No lipstick? No, that's it. Look at it. Well, I've used the lip liner quite a lot over your actual lip, and this has got quite a nice pigment to it. Look. Do you like mm. that? I do. Do you like that? You're happy? I know right. would go for a slightly paler lip, but... Um... Well, are you, I think that looks stunning with all the other tones. Right. Mm, a little bit of my Tom Ford. It's <laughs> so, a little bit of Okay, a little Ford. bit of Tom Ford. <laughs> They're gorgeous. That's pretty. I would normally put the lipstick underneath the gloss. Yes, but, but I'm, I'm a lipstick girl. I like, I like, okay. a, I like a moist lip. Mummy. <laughs> and I find lip gloss makes my, it just dries me out a bit. Lip gloss? Oh, mm. That's interesting. Well, it, it disappears too quickly, whereas a thick, a thick Tom lipstick, Ford lipstick. Yeah. I mean, Tom Ford is my absolute go-to. Go yeah. yeah. Now, a product... I don't even bother to buy other, other lipsticks anymore. ...that I am obsessed with, as you guys know, is the Rodial Glass Powder. And it literally just melts your pores away and just creates the most flawless finish. And there we go. Right, we've got to finish off her mascara. I'm going to let Mummy do her own mascara and then we're going to come back and show you the finished look. Whilst Mummy was finishing off her outfit and popping on her mascara, I've also quickly jumped ahead and done a little bit more of my makeup so that we're not going to get severely told off. Mummy, come here. I want to see your makeup up close. So this is what we did with Mummy. She's super golden, super glowy. Close your eyes. Show us those beautiful lids. Gorgeous lip. She went a little bit more Tom Fordy, and then she's got her beautiful Tivon Fine Jewelry Tanzanite solo jacket that I bought in the spring. Um, love it, absolutely love it. So quite it's a like, thick linen. It is quite a thick just linen. Just trimmed with a, a, a bright blue sort of piping um, with a white striped stripe. cotton. So it's it's actually quite casual but smart. Yeah. Um, but I just love wearing them over a summer dress. I mean, I actually button it up. Yeah, um, to give me a little bit of shape, but of course, beautiful. Oh my goodness, um, underneath, I if I want to take it off, um, just so just one of my uh, summer to go to frocks. I think I bought it in stocks in Marlow, and uh, stunning. Leonora took me into buying the Holland Cooper wedges in navy. Holland oh, Cooper wedges I don't think I'll in live in classy and shorts most of the time. <laughs> well, it means that you've got gorgeous bronzed legs unlike mine okay. anyway mummy right, you need um, to go downstairs yes, love you, you. Oh, love you well i'm in a good mood she's in a great mood i am so excited that you guys got to spend a little bit of time with mummy i love her i worship her and we are just best friends and she's the most incredible mother and um i'm so happy that you guys got to spend a little bit of time with her she does sometimes feel very uncomfortable with camera so fingers crossed um she felt relaxed and um i think it's safe to say that she looks gorgeous he is going to go and welcome our guest thankfully i'm going to quickly finish off my makeup put my clothes on and then we are are off to Hurley House for Sunday lunch today. They have the most incredible menus. They are very, very traditional English. They have a few little French bits, but the most incredible thing is their Japanese menu. So I think we'll also be having some sushi. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly get changed because I'm going to be told off by my husband. Um, <laughs> I will see you guys in a little bit. The hair is out of the rollers and I have quite possibly put on an outfit as quick as I possibly can. The gate buzzer has just gone. I am wearing my Holland Cooper pale pink linen blazer, pair of classic high-waisted uh, cream trousers, cream belt with gold hardware just to tie in those beautiful buttons. 
taken my hair out of the rollers and definitely very poodlish. <laughs> I'm hoping it will drop. I'm also extremely hot. The gate buzzer has literally just gone. So rushing downstairs to welcome my guests, but I'm gonna have to bring this vlog to an end so that I can get it up in time for you guys to see it at 6 p.m. tonight. I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been a bit here, there, and everywhere. We went to see Cornbury House Horse Trials, which is going to be incredible, and I will be going in September. September. We then went to my god sister's wedding yesterday, which was so beautiful. It was so wholesome and so many horses. And then a very, very special guest on my YouTube channel. Fingers crossed she approves the content. <laughs> she was like, I want to see it before it goes out. Um, but yes, I'm so grateful to you all for watching. I truly hope you've enjoyed this one. And as always, sending you so much love.